when it comes to fish roll i love mine crunchy and so i will start by showing you guys how i make my fish filling it is quite simple i'll start by seasoning my fish thereafter i'm going to add it into a very clean pot spice it up with some pepper and onions go in with some ginger powder you guys i love seasonings thereafter i'm going to go in with some white pepper i never miss out on my white pepper and not forgetting garlic if you have fresh spices you can use them they are also very good and i'm going to add in some curry powder that is what i'm going to add in i'm actually going to shake the pot properly and then stand on the fire so when it starts cooking i'm actually going to add in some water along the line there you can have your fish i do not want it to overcook so it does not scatter and for this process i'm actually going to debone this fish i'll take out all of the bones and i'm going to mash this fish using a fork if you have a food processor then you can use it and this is how it looks it looks really really good thereafter i'm going to add my carrots to a pot season it add some oil add in my fish and mix for a while and this is what we have i'll leave the measurements in the description box but i'm going to go in with my dry ingredients right now for my dough that is my sifted flour baking powder and i'm going to sift my baking powder equally that's because as you can see it has some lumps in it i'm going to mix this properly like i always say make sure your ingredients are evenly distributed go in with some salt some nutmeg for flavor who does not love nutmeg you can actually go in with the nut itself you can just grate it if you have it around you in the house you can use it and then you guys i'm going to go in with groundnut oil that's what i'll be using i'll not be using butter i'll go in with a sufficient quantity of groundnut oil that is i'm going to be adding while i mix so that's what i practically have been doing in this recipe not forgetting our water I'm going to add in some water and I'm actually just going to form my dough. That's what I'll be doing. I'll form my dough at this point. So I'm going to use a plastic wrap to seal up my dough and then I'll place it in the refrigerator for it to sit for a while while I am preparing my work surface to actually make the best and the most crunchy fish roll ever. Mind you guys, this is not a baked recipe, this is the frying recipe. And so, Lego. <music> As you all know, we always dust our surface with flour. That's because we do not want the dough to stick. Thereafter, we are going to cut our dough into several small sizes. This is because we want to be able to roll it out properly without any stress. And so I'm just going to do that. I always do that, if you guys have noticed. At this point, I want to say please subscribe and like comment and share i know you guys love what i'm doing and i love you guys for being here too so you're going to roll out your dough this is it you're going to roll out your dough add your fish filling to your dough and then you're just going to roll it i want you guys to look at this process carefully because i'm going to show you guys how i seal the ends for my fish feeling not to go out of my dough
have here with me flour i'll add in some water and that's what i'm going to use to seal my fish roll that's the gum paste and this paste is legit <music> this idea i would love you guys to have which is the fact that you can actually make your fish roll smaller than it initially was by actually rolling it with your palm do not use force just roll it with your palm and that is practically you stretching it out for it to look smaller because trust me when you fry it it's going to look bigger and that's what we are going to do at this point and this is our fish roll here you have a result if you are going to bake this then you're going to use your egg wash and your milk in order for it to look shiny <music> this method requires deep frying so you're going to add your oil to your pan and heat it up properly you need to make sure that your oil is hot before you actually start frying your fish roll this is what we have here i made this video and i actually appreciated this goodness if you try this recipe out let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video please do not forget to subscribe like share and comment so you guys see you later bye <music>